A favourite pole fishing method of mine is using a combination of two mil pellet, pellets and corn. Just corn as a hook bait and feeding with two mils. Uh, st sticking with the bait for, for a few minutes. What I've got is a two mil thin perfect pellets which have levelled the water until they've soaked it all up. Time's not really important. You know, I'm not timing them for two minutes per millimetre of pellet. I'm just le levelling them with water until they've soaked it up. Somewhere after about an hour, hour they'll be uh, all soaked up and soft and heavy like they are. The soft to the touch and right through. You know, there's no hardness in there when I squeeze them in my fingers. But they've got as much water with them, similar to how I'd use them on the feeder, uh, but they're heavy, all the water's giving it the weight so they sink straight down which cuts down your, your liners when, you, when you're potting them in your swim. And the banoffee corn there, uh, that's just my hook bait. I'm not actually feeding that. I'm just picking out a decent sized grain, such as that, and just nicking it on the size 18 hook and making sure the point's showing. I find using small hooks when fishing corn like this, when you're getting liners and that in the margin, you can keep lifting your rig up may be a bite, may not be, but you can keep lifting your rig up, dropping it down and the, with the hook being really unnoticeable, you know, you can keep fishing it hopefully get a bite. If you try and pop a bigger hook inside the corn to hide it, when you lift into a liner, um, your hook will come out, you know, it'll be a big hook showing there, so you'd have to come in and rebait and go through the process again. But that way I can fish as long as they're alike, just keep lifting into bites and uh, you know, until you hook a fish. So I put the, the corn on, I'm fishing a, a 412 carp pellet float, um, and I've got a bulk about the third of the way up from the hook of eights, and a number 10 just a bit nearer the bulk than the, than the bait. And that just holds everything steady. Because what, what I'm aiming to do is, when I've, I've, I've lightly squashed my two mils into the, the pot, just re very gentle pressure, I'm, I'm tipping it, I'm shipping it out onto, on, onto the fishing area and just tipping it upside down, putting it in the water, the pot's perforated so the water can get in there and the pellets come straight out on top of my float and then they're sinking down in a column right on top of my corn, so my corn's like a standout bait and the fish will just come in there, you've got a window of about five or ten minutes after you've potted the bait in where you're going to get a bite if you've had a bite in that time then you repeat the process so I'm fishing up the margin here on this peg today uh, 13 metre length and I've, I've I've plumbed up next to the next to the bank where I found it quite flat, and I'm fishing something like an inch over there, uh, and I'm shotted the pole, uh, the float shotted, so that when the corn's on the bottom, it's it's shotted perfectly. So I just demonstrate that by dropping in there, and you you that's shallow enough for the corn to be to be resting on the bottom. So you can see there's about a quarter of an inch float showing there. But when I move it out to the lake where it's deeper, you probably see that. Now the corn will be suspended off the bottom and you'll see the, the float goes a lot lower. So I can position my rig in the margin knowing that my corn's on the bottom ready for a bite. If it's too low like that, then I need to come nearer the margin so that, you know, there's, there's a quarter of an inch show, a float showing. I'm shipping all the way out so I can feel the end of the pole on my elbow and just drawing it into place. I'm, I'm, I'm eyeing up for one of them uh, dead reeds that are tilted and just dropping that plumb down had a liner there straight away, just as quick as I can. Dump the pot on the float. Ready.
ready for a ball like uh, it is. See that fish come straight into the pellets, that one did. Just drawn the fish away from the margin so it's not interfering with the feeder fish that are there. Keeping the pole low, just keep the elastic out of the water and then you, you can see where the fish is heading. It's a decent sort of size. Uh, nicely in the top lip. I hope it's come out in the net. But look at that, perfect condition coming on the corn over the pellets. So if you've enjoyed this video and want to see plenty more like this, don't forget to subscribe to the Preston Innovations YouTube channel. Completely free and it's bound to put more fish in your net.